Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to my Summertime Essentials class. Today is June 20th. It's actually the eve of our summer solstice. Uh, so tomorrow, June 21st, is the first day of summer officially as we kick off this wonderful season. And it is also the longest day of the year. So um, from now until December 21st, we'll actually be going back where we'll be losing one minute of daylight every day until we hit the winter solstice and then we'll be gaining it back again. So I want to welcome and acknowledge you all for being here, whether you're on this call live or watching it that has been recorded. So I hope you are having a wonderful summer kickoff thus far and my intention tonight is to um, share with you some wonderful information about summertime and how you can actually improve your lives using essential oils, using things that are non-toxic and that are most safe for you, your family, and of course our environment. So um, I would like to take this opportunity for you to get comfortable if you have any essential oils with you right now. One of my favorite is peppermint. So go ahead and put a drop of peppermint on your hand, rub them together, breathe it in, and you can rub some on the back of your neck. I know today we went to the beach at, um, in Coco here in Orlando, Florida, and it was a glorious day. Everything was very... Uh, warm and, and the salt air was uh, in our face and uh, the waves were just amazing. So it was a fun day at the beach and I actually got some sun. You can probably see that and um, it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So tonight we're going to share um, essential oils and, and how they can affect your summer activities. And I just want to read an official disclaimer that these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to cure, diagnose, or prevent disease. Our bodies can only do that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So why doTERRA? I get this question all the time. What sets us apart from all the other uh, essential oil companies on the market? And um, I heard this really great analogy the other day that we are all familiar with maple syrup. And maple syrup is a wonderful um, ingredient that is tapped from the maple trees in Vermont. And when we tap the tree, we get this pure maple syrup that is actually very um, good and healthy for us. And then you go to the grocery store and you find some Aunt Jemima, uh maple syrup on the grocery shelves, and that is all high fructose corn syrup, food coloring, caramel additives, etc. There's actually no maple syrup in Aunt Jemima. So I like to say that um, doTERRA is like that pure, beautiful maple syrup that we get tapped from the tree because we have relationships with farmers all, uh, all over. Okay, somebody, I don't know why those are, those were coming up there, but hopefully that won't happen again. Sorry about that. Is anybody, um, let's see, you should not be able to do that. So, okay, alrighty. Hear that off. Oh, wait a now. Sorry about this technical delays here. Okay. All right. We'll get started. We'll get back into it again. Okay. So, um, doTERRA sets us apart from the other essential oil companies because um, we are like that analogy of the pure Vermont maple. Uh, syrup versus the Aunt Jemima. So what sets us apart is our co-impact sourcing. And that is means that we have fair trade partner agreements with farmers globally, that we interact with them all over the world, that our essential oils come from the plant that is indigenous to the area, 
uh, and the environment. So it's subject to climate, to soil, to the way they've harvested for centuries, the way that it is grown, um, um, and, and the seasons that, that affect the actual plant. Um, so we end up with a far more superior product. And this is where the doTERRA commitment to quality begins. The second part of why doTERRA is our certified pure therapeutic grade testing that we do at every batch of oil several times before it gets to you and it is also sent out to third-party testers. So what that means is every single batch of essential oils that is harvested, distilled down, and created into this wonderful oil, we test it for impurities such as pesticides, herbicides, um, parasites, fungus, weeds, anything, any type of contamination of any kind. So I like to say it's organic plus because a lot of our farmers don't, don't have the resources to actually get it certified organic, but we go that extra step and we get every single batch tested three to four times and also by third parties. So when it arrives in your home in these wonderful bottles, you can be assured that it's uh, safe, it's pure, and the potency is consistent batch after batch. So that is one of the reasons why I chose doTERRA again. Plus they set the standard in the essential oil industry where there was no standardization. They knew that and they wanted to raise the bar to make sure that um, the oils coming to you are not gonna be harmful. So with that, we have over 100 essential oils sourced from more than 40 different nations. And a lot of these nations are third world nations where they're underdeveloped. And doTERRA actually helps them with um, pay them a fair trade, pay them on time. Um, they go ahead and they, um, through our Healing Hands Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization where we are committed to uh, improving the lives of our farmers and partners and bringing hope to them around the world. Um, our Healing Hands seek to bring healing and hope around the world uh, to those lives that are free from disease and poverty and ultimately empower the impoverished communities with the tools needed to become self-sufficient and self-reliant. So doTERRA covers all of the overhead and administration costs for the Healing Hands Foundation. And we assure that 100% of our donations actually go to those receiving AIDS. And with our uh, partners around the world, we have brought them um, water sources and, and clinical, uh, like medical and um, uh, school for their kids. So we are improving and um, strengthening their lives and their families' lives as well. Our co-impact sourcing, in addition, supplies the highest quality of essential oils, and doTERRA is, is committed to making a positive difference in the lives of the farmers and the harvesters and distillers who contribute to doTERRA's wonderful oil production. At this time, 85% of all oils that are produced by doTERRA have an exclusivity, and we are working to 100%. So that's another reason that sets us apart, because nobody can get the oils uh, where we actually have those exclusivities with these partners all over the world. And I want to bring to your attention an amazing website. It's called Source to you.com and you can actually see how we interact with these farmers and harvesters globally and you will also be able to see the um, the actual chemical constituents of the essential oil and how its journey across from harvest to bottling has been so you can actually um, uh, each bottle has a little uh, a number at the bottom and you can type that in and you can see the testings that these oils have had to prove to you that they are actually pure, potent, and effective for your family. So um, I think that's amazing. Um, doTERRA actually rocks in my book uh, because they have all these steps in place to uh, assure to you that our oils are what, what they will do, say they will do. 
So how to use essential oils? Some of this might be a review to some and others you might not know and, and this will be the first time you're exposed to it. So with doTERRA essential oils, you can use them topically. So when you apply them to the areas of your body that need support, uh, they go into your bloodstream bloodstream within 20 seconds and they are actually circulated throughout your body within 20 minutes. Uh, the best is way to dilute the essential oils with either a fractionated coconut oil or some type of carrier oil uh, and that helps avoid any type of skin sensitivity and you always want to dilute essential oils for children. Um, you can place them on the bottoms of your feet, on the back of your neck, over your heart, your wrists, the inside of your arms, anywhere that you, um, or that, you know, that you need to put that topical uh, approach to if you're having any type of pain and things like that. Um, so essential oils are adaptogenic, which means that they will adapt to your own body's chemistry and they will um, give you the proper dose that your body actually needs. Um, a great way to put essential oils too is down the back of your spine. So if you get a, a massage, you can ask your massage therapist to go ahead and drip some essential oils along your back and then rub that in and it's absolutely wonderful. Another way that you can um, use uh, essential oils is aromatically. You know, you can take the cap off. Just smell the aroma of the essential oil. It actually goes through your nasal passage. It goes up through your um, uh, amygdala of your brain, and that's where our emotional seat set sits. And it also helps uh, lift your mood, and it, um, it can help purify the air if you're diffusing. Um, and essential oils, the way uh, with you smelling them aromatically is the quickest rate of absorption for any type of uh, fragrance that you have. So that could be perfumes, that could be um, plug-in air fresheners, that can be candles. And a lot of those uh, things that I just mentioned are highly toxic and they can disrupt your nasal passageway they can also disrupt your endocrine system and neuroendocrine system as well. So, you know, you have to be careful of what you are inhaling. And today we were at the beach. We were enjoying the beautiful salt air of Cocoa Beach. And I live in my own little bubble where I'm around natural solutions with the people that I work with in the environment that I live in. And I was blown away by the amount of suntan lotion that was being used at the beach, of course, because we want to protect our body. I'm going to show you a great recipe for that here in a second. But the odor and the chemicals used in the um, suntan screens was just knocked me over. I, I was out in an open air, but it was still very sensitive to the aroma. And when you remove all those synthetic chemicals from your environment, you do become very sensitive to um, synthetic aromas and smells. And um, it was just mind boggling because one, we were outside and, and two, the amount of spray that these moms were trying to put on their children thinking that they were actually doing them good, but in all actuality, they were doing them harm. So, um, as I digress, uh, another way to use essential oils are internally. Now, I'm only saying this with doTERRA essential oils. Remember, we've got Vermont syrup and Aunt Jemima out there, so you do not want to ingest um, any other essential oils on the market. And the way that you know that um, doTERRA is good to digest or not is because it will actually have a little supplement fact um, on the label, and then that will signal to you that you can take it internally. So. Uh, it is good for um, things uh, to put in your tea, put in your water. You can put uh, essential oils with cooking with, and then we'll go ahead and we'll um, go ahead and 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 I'll, I'll review those ways here in the next couple slides. So it's wonderful. Um, I like putting citrus oils in my water and um, any type of essential oil that you put in a drink. You want to make sure that it is stainless or glass 
or pottery. You never want to put your essential oils in plastic because it will actually break down the petroleum in the plastic and then you're then ingesting those um, essential uh, or those toxicities. So, uh, and uh, a great way to illustrate this, um, if you like science projects, is go ahead and get a styrofoam cup and then a drop and then some lemon doTERRA essential oil and put a drop of lemon on that styrofoam cup and um, just watch it for the next few moments. It, it will totally disintegrate in front of you. It's a really cool illustration and that helps drive it home again that you do not want to put any uh, essential oils in anything plastic. So the best outdoor products that we have for um, doTERRA is these two wonderful products and more. And um, we'll go through those here in just a second. So the best uh, ones that I feel um, are the our Terra Shield that we had on there. It actually protects you from those little pesky bugs that decide to dine and feast upon our bodies. And we have our Terra Shield in this wonderful 30 mil spray bottle. It's great. It protects us from those biting insects. Um, our Deep Blue Rub is wonderful. It is a um, icy hot type of ointment that you can put on your joints and your muscles. You can do that after a long hike. You can do that after gardening. It's a wonderful way to help cool and uh, ease that those muscle, muscle tensions. Um, lavender is another essential oil that is great. It is also great um, as uh, promotes restful sleep. But if you've been in the sun all day and your skin's a little red or tender, um, just go ahead and take some uh, uh, non or unscented lotion and a drop of lavender and a drop of peppermint. Put that on there, rub it on your skin, and it's absolutely, absolutely soothing and cooling. It's a wonderful, wonderful after sun treatment. Um, our Digest Zen Soft Gels is great. Uh, if you were up a picnic or a park and you're indulging in too much barbecue or um, you know, you're eating out in restaurants more or you're on vacation and you're not in your normal uh, routine of eating, uh, Digest Zen is a wonderful uh, soft gel that helps alleviate that stomach upset. And then try these as a wonderful seasonal blend. It helps provide relief when pollen count is high or mold might be high or, you know, whatever out there is in bloom. Uh, try ease is a great combination of peppermint, lemon, and lavender, and it helps alleviate those symptoms. Another one that's not on here is our On Guard Plus Soft Gels, which is another great uh, immune boosting uh, soft gel because I know in the summertime we are traveling a lot and we're on those crowded planes and there's a lot of germs and so what that will do is that will help um, boost your immune system so your body is ready to defend anything that you might come in contact with. Of course, our peppermint bee lips are wonderful to support clear breathing. It's a nice alternative to a mint or a gum. And uh, a lot of times if you're traveling a lot, you might, you know, just have yucky mouth. And if you don't have your uh, awesome doTERRA on guard toothpaste, you could put a couple bee lips in your mouth and pop them and then take a swig of water and then your breath is nice and refreshed again. Excuse me. And of course, our lip balm. Our lip balm is amazing. It has essential oils in it as well. And you can just put those on your lips. They're nice and soft and shiny, and it helps protect you from the sun. So it is a great uh, way to protect yourself from the outdoors. Of course, our Mito 2 Max and our Deep Blue for those active lifestyle products. Um, here we have, uh, oh, well, this is a duplicate slide, so my apologies for that. Um, so anyways, with our Mito2 Max, um, it is great for energy and stamina complex. It is wonderful. It actually targets your cellular component. So if you went back in time at school and with biology, you know you have your um, mitochondria and your energy converters to ATP. So it attacks, it, it not attacks, it targets that and it gives you natural energy. That is a wonderful thing. Um, of course, we have our Slim and Sassy 
um, trim shakes, which is great for on the go. It helps provide those essential nutrients and helps manage your weight. It is a wonderful way to mix with either coconut water or coconut milk or almond milk or any type of non-plant or non-dairy uh, plant-based milk. It's a wonderful way to get your nutrients in and keep you on the go. Of course, our Lifelong Vitality Pack is another amazing way to help maintain your overall health and wellness. And then we got out that deep blue rub again that is absolutely wonderful. Okay. Let's see. All right. So essential oils, they're not only used again for putting them topically or aromatically, but you can cook with them, which is wonderful. Uh, a couple months back, I did a cooking class with essential oils, and you can find that on YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel. But doTERRA is amazing for cooking. Um, and it's wonderful because you don't have to worry about the dry herbs going bad or, you know, not being as potent as it should be. So uh, always want to do less is more. And when you're cooking with essential oils, um, instead of adding them to your recipe directly, what I would recommend is you take like a tablespoon, put a little bit of uh, olive oil or or either coconut oil in there, and then go ahead and, and, and dose your uh, essential oils in that spoon. So uh, sometimes, as you know, the viscosity of essential oils can be thick or thin, and when you're tipping the essential oil bottle, you may intend to have one essential drop come out and two or three come out. So it's better than to just put that teaspoon as, tablespoon aside and then start all, all over and then you don't ruin your entire um, meal that you have cooking there. But I love um, essential oils on making marinades, uh, salad dressings. You can make a rub with it. Uh, you can help uh, do uh, a citrus lime type of, uh, of um, uh, sauce. You can make uh, wonderful lemonades with it. Uh, sangrias with it. it. It's just a wonderful way to add more intense flavoring to your cooking. Now with doTERRA also, um, we have an amazing resource on our doTERRA blog and we have a myriad of recipes on there. You can find, excuse me, a zucchini tomato basil salad which is actually, excuse me, on my um, my uh, newsletter this month. Uh, you can also find a strawberry orange granada, a cilantro kale pesto dipping sauce, a brown sugar lime grilled pineapple lettuce cups, which sound amazing, uh, coconut lemongrass red lentil soup, uh, breakfast quiche, grilled corn, citrus coconut sickles, um, so they're like popsicles, and then we've got a cardamom mustard chicken wing. So go to our doTERRA blog, and uh, the DIY under living and look up the recipes. They're absolutely amazing. And then I'll go ahead and when this is recorded and it's uploaded on our YouTube channel, I will go ahead and post those links as well. So uh, stop back by there later. So staying cool this summer, um, I don't know about you, but it is like 90 degrees down here, very hot. So peppermint, I love, 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 it is my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> um, I use it on a myriad of different things. I flavor my water, I put it in my green tea matcha, I put it in my uh, lattes, I put it in brownie mix. It is amazing. What it also does is it helps lower your body temperature. So whether or not your kids are playing at sport events or you're sitting by the pool and it's hot, um, you know, get, get a little uh, spray bottle, uh, fill it with distilled water and put several drops of peppermint in, in it. And then you could just spray yourself down and it helps alleviate the heat and it helps bring your body down to a cool temperature. So uh, it's wonderful. We take this to when we go to Disney a lot. I had it in my little spray bottle today at the beach, and it is an amazing. Just a few cups, drops of peppermint is great. Um, if you want to put it directly, you know, when you are put a drop in your hands and you breathe it in, you can just go ahead and put it down in the back of your neck. 
So those ladies that are out there that are experiencing their own personal summers, peppermint is amazing. You can even put a drop on your head. If you're working a long day and your feet are tired, uh, take some um, unscented uh, uh, lotion or a wonderful uh, uh, body butter that we have and put a drop or two of peppermint in it and put that on your feet. It's an amazing and uplifting, invigorating foot rub. And that will help bring your body temperature down. It'll take that throbbing out of your feet. And um, happy feet makes for a happy life, right? Okay, so let's get into some recipes. Now, if you search on Pinterest or on the internet, there's many different uh, recipes for essential oils uh, with um, uh, protected by the sun. And this is one of them. And so what you're going to do is you're going to add a half a cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of fractionated coconut oil. Um, I actually used regular uh, coconut oil for this. quarter cup of beeswax. Um, one teaspoon of vitamin E, two tablespoons of shea butter, and you're going to put those ingredients in a glass proof um, container and then put that um, either in a double broiler or in a bigger pot with some water in it. And you're going to melt all of those down. And when they're completely melted, then you're going to add your um, essential oil and then your two tablespoons of zinc oxide. And one thing that I did also find on the web, if you have any cacao powder, add like a tablespoon or two of cacao powder. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the whiteness out of the zinc oxide and make it more of a brownie, um, nice color. And then you can put them in small jars like this or those little silicone goop type things. Um, this was actually our suntan lotion that we used uh, today. And you can store this on, in the refrigerator. Um, it'll last about six months or so. Um, or you can throw it in your ice chest so when you're at the beach and you put it on, it's again, it, it's cooling to the body. Now, I put about 30 drops of um, lavender in mine today and it worked out nicely. Um, you can do 12 drops of helichrysum too. Uh, I just didn't have any more helichrysum and it's, it's coming in this next order. So uh, I put lavender as a great uh, soother for the skin. Um, you can also, if you want to add some bug repellent to your lotion too, you could add a few drops of Terra Shield. So if you're out, you know, canoeing or in the woods and you you know, want that protection of sun, and then you also want the protection of, um, uh, you know, per, to have that bug repellent, you can actually do that as well. So, um, so that's one great recipe. Now, after the sun is another story. You know, our skin is a little uh, warm. So this is a great uh, cooling spray. And so you want to take a four-ounce spray bottle, add 20 drops of lavender, 20 drops of peppermint, and uh, 20 drops of frankincense. And then you're going to fill it either with distilled water or fractionated coconut oil. And you can shake it up and spray it on your sunburned area. Or you can put a drop of lavender and peppermint and frankincense and a little dollop of that unscented lotion that we have as well. Mix that up and then put that on your skin too. It's great. It's cooling. It um, takes that stinginess out that the sun might have done. Uh, peppermint is wonderful uh, for cooling. And then the lavender helps take that, that, um, that burn out of the skin. Um, lavender is also great for if you touch a hot stove, um, yeah, curling iron mishap, um, you know, whatever. Now we don't have really curling irons, we have flat irons. So um, if you should nick your skin and burn it, just grab some peppermint, uh, or, I'm sorry, some lavender, not peppermint, lavender. Grab some lavender and put that on it. And it's amazing. It just takes that, that sting out. It's, it's uh, wonderful. You can repeat, repeat this um, every few hours if you've got a good sunburn going or, um, you know, just after you bathe in the morning and then before you go to bed, it, it's, it's wonderful. So another way to keep uh, healthy this summer is you want to make sure your hands are clean. And please don't buy those over-the-counter um, uh, 
what do they call it? hand sanitizers. They are full of toxic chemicals. They have triclosan in it and a bunch of other things and alcohol for one. Some sanitizers can have up to three shots of alcohol. And if we're constantly applying that onto our, our children, their little bodies are absor absorbing that. And uh, there has been cases where kids have actually had alcohol toxicity because the amount of hand sanitizers um, that they have have used. So my favorite is just taking, um, I actually don't have it here, but um, uh, take a um, old uh, essential oil bottle, put a spray top on it, and uh, fill it up with a quarter teaspoon of vitamin E oil, fill half with distilled water, half with some aloe vera gel, some eight drops of on guard, and shake well and spray your hands down. And it's an amazing and wonderful um, uh, hand sanitizer. And you can also use this uh, to spray when you're traveling uh, on airplanes, the spray tables, because uh, those, the tray tables, because those are nasty full of germs, um, the back of the seat, uh, the air vents, and um, to help uh, boost your immune system and, and clean the area. So that is a wonderful tip. Um, oh, and traveling, here we go. Um, so this is a great roller bottle. We wanna boost our immune system. We want to um, uh, make sure that all the germs that we're gonna be encountering, we're gonna be able to keep them at bay. This is a great uh, roller bottle to make up. You put seven drops of frankincense, on guard, melaleuca, and lemon and then fill the remainder up with fractionated coconut oil, and then you can rub that on your hands, you can rub that on the bottoms of your feet. Um, uh, so you can apply it anywhere as that is needed. And um, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of doing all of this, uh, doTERRA has a wonderful little on guard roller ball um, that's already mixed and pre-diluted uh, with fractionated coconut oil. Just rub that on your hands if you don't want to make uh, the hand sanitizer and you are, are good to go. So we want to keep a wonderful, safe time to travel. You know, the kids are out of school. There's a handful of holidays coming up. And everywhere you go, you want to be healthy and have a wonderful immune system. So we mentioned those pesky little bugs. So you can either get this pre-made filled of uh, 30 mils of Terra Shield, and then you can just add, if you want a little extra support of some lemon and eucalyptus in it, or you can make your own in a four ounce spray bottle. Uh, you put 20 drops of the actual uh, Terra Shield in here with some lemon eucalyptus, some bottle, uh, a few drops of fraction of coconut oil, and spray that on your kids when you're out camping, when you're out in the woods, when you're out on a summer eve in Florida when all the mosquitoes come out and deer flies. Um, this is great for deer flies. It's absolutely amazing. When I use this, they leave me alone. When I forget about it, they feast on me, which is not a fun thing. You can also diffuse a uh, Terra uh, Shield as well um, on the back porch or in your house um, to keep the bugs at bay as well. All right, so this is great as a non-toxic alternative because again, the bug sprays that are out there have DEET, they have all kinds of different chemicals in it that are very bad for us. And all, they, um, you know, are known carcinogens in these things. So, you know, protect your family, protect yourself and, um, you know, try these nice alternatives. So if you forget to use your Terra Shield or, um, you know, the bugs just have, you know, come out before you were able to put it on, um, you can make this wonderful No More Itchy Bug Bite roller bottle with 20 drops of basil, 10 drops of peppermint, or 10 drops of lavender with some fractionated coconut oil, and you can roll that on the itchy bug bite itself. Um, what I like to do too is, um, I've got really violent reactions to bug bites where landed me at the doctor's in the emergency room, et cetera. So when I get a bug bite, I just pour the essential oil right on it um, to prevent uh, these severe reactions that I get. My top favorites are Melaleuca, 
lavender, purify, and arborvitae. And I layer those up on my bug bite and that actually works for me. Each person is different so you may have a different um, concoction that you will do but uh, for in the meantime this is a great roller bottle uh, recipe to use as well. All right so who wants a bug free garden? You know we in, in um, we're now a lot of people are, are growing their own fruits and vegetables and our hard work sometimes is um, affected or, or thwarted by hungry little pests. So I have made this wonderful uh, bug spray that I use and it is very nurturing to the plant. You can actually find the recipe. I didn't put it on here and I apologize, but you can find it on, on my website at deannasnyder.com and then just go to essential oils and then DIY household. It's a wonderful combination of clove and terra shield and some lemongrass and put it in a spray bottle and you can actually spray your plants and it's wonderful. Or if you have um, certain specific type critters, peppermint is great for ants. If you've got aphids, peppermint, sandalwood and white fur. Uh, peppermint's good for caterpillars and fleas and spiders and uh, peppermint's good for everything. I actually have a um, half gallon uh, spray, you know, the pump, and I put one drop of peppermint per one ounce of water. So it's a 60 ounce bucket, and so I put 60 drops of peppermint in it, and then I go around and I spray my house. I spray myself. Neighbors look at me like I'm crazy because I'm dousing myself with chemicals, but of course it's good chemicals, and that actually um, has helped with the ants and the spiders and things like that. Um, you can see on this here, there's a myriad of different essential oils for different critters to keep them away. It doesn't kill them, but it just prevents them from coming onto your property, which is a nice and humane way to garden. So now what? So hopefully you have learned some really good tips to this um, evening to keep your summertime essentials non-toxic and natural. Um, my life has changed because I used doTERRA essential oils and I'm confident that you will share this experience once you get started. Um, if you have not opened your account with doTERRA and with me, um, there are three ways to purchase your essential oils. One is you can purchase them at full retail price, which is something that I do not recommend. You can actually open your own wellness account. It is very similar to open like a Sam's or a Costco's uh, wholesale membership. It's only $35 and you then get 25% off of retail prices, so which is absolutely wonderful. You can choose to do that or purchase an enrollment kit. Uh, that's something that you and I can chat about to find what serves your needs and your budget and what will make your family thrive. Um, so um, if you are interested in doing that, just reach out to me and I'll be happy to have a conversation with you. My part takes about 30 minutes or so, it's not that long, asking you detailed questions on how I can help you pick the perfect essential oils that are needed uh, for you and your family. Um, also, if you have an account already and you want to learn more about essential oils, um, let reach out to me again. I have a wonderful education program. I just revamped my website. There is a lot of great um, education uh, information on that. And then if you go to doTERRA.com, they have amazing uh, blogs. They have wonderful resources on there too to help with your essential oil journey. So you are not in this journey by yourself. I like to say I am honored to walk alongside of you on your journey with natural solutions. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to yours uh, that you spent your time with me and I am here for you to answer any questions that you may have. And this is my information for you to reach out. So 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up for any questions. Um, I did see in the chat question about the sunscreen. Do you have any idea what SPF that might be? Yes, it's a very good question. Um, not off the top of my head, Sharon, but I can definitely get with you. Um, I, I, um, certain essential oils have a certain SPF factor. So I'm going to say it's about a 20 um, uh, SPF with that zinc oxide, but I can definitely get that information to you. Um, also with essential oils uh, or other carrier oils, they have their own SPF too. So it's a wonderful way to layer all these different things and have a wonderful SPF factor. Now, I was not in the sun long today and I also had a, a, an umbrella over. So um, I do take that precaution as well. So I will get you that SPF on that. Uh, all right. All right. So um, any more questions? If you have, just write them in the chat. And uh, otherwise, um, feel free to reach out to me privately. And I wish you guys an awesome summer. Hope you are traveling and doing all kinds of fun things. If not, you know, Orlando or wherever you are, I'm sure has wonderful places for a staycation. Just remember to unplug, uh, be with nature, and walk in peace. So thank you all again. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.